hello sweetie. Oh yes, um, I came in about two hours ago. I missed my morning flight. <sighs> Sweetheart, with the way things are right now, I doubt it will be possible. I can't come to no more until tomorrow. Yes, I know, but, but I'm so sorry. It can't happen. Not today anymore because I got like two other meetings scheduled and I have to meet up with them. Helen, this is not the right time to talk about this, okay? I mean, when I get home, we'll probably talk about it. Right now, I'm kind of occupied with work, okay? No, it's not possible. Things I, you know, I'll talk to you later, right? your new Lagos? Hmm? Is this Lagos? Or maybe there's a new Lagos I don't know. Is this your Lagos? Answer! Shameless man! Helen, why are you following me? Why won't I? Huh? Who is she? Who is she? Who is who? The woman you came here to see. Hmm? The woman you came here to see. The woman that made you lie to me. Who is she? There is no woman! Why? I came to a hotel means I came here to see a woman, huh? So, maybe this is your office. A new office I don't know about, right? Why wouldn't you change? Eh? You are so shameless. Most every time you pick my call, I'll end up with you lying to me. My own husband for that matter. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to take it that this is actually Lagos. Because I don't want to create a thing. You know me now, when I'm outside this place. But no, I won't take that. I won't do that. I'll go home now. I'll be expecting you. And you had better not be late. Because if you do... That's your wife, I just saw. How did she get to know you were coming here? I have no idea. She's beginning to piss me off. Don't you think we should call off the OD? No. We'll go according to plan. But don't you, your wife just... Forget about my wife, okay? Okay. Is the woman here now? Yeah, she came in about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, good. You know what you're going to do? Yeah. Immediately we'll leave. I want the pictures brought to me today. Let it not pass today. Sure, sure. You understand me? Yeah, good. Go. Yeah, later.
Uh, Richard, uh, isn't the boss back? He's not home yet. Oh my god, I thought I would meet him since I didn't meet him in the office. In that case, you should have called him on the phone. What? My friend, what, what is your problem? What gave you the pressure that you can teach me how to do my job? Eh? When your job is to front you as a gate man, hmm. you better be careful. Let this be your last warning. <laughs> no sense. <laughs> Just. Well, I've told you. The boss is not at home. Hey, hey, come back here. I said, come back here. Charles, you don't suffer. Hey, give this to him when you throw back. No sense. Go and bring it, don't waste my time. What is it? Adam, I said it's a package. Somebody brought it, I said I should give it to mm, Oga. Package. Let me have it. I don't even want to understand. Let me hear you say, make I give him a mm, morgan. Richard, let me have it. How about we give you? See, say, make I give him a morgan now. You let don't understand. Let me have it. Madam! Ah. Right, let me have it. Let me have it. Ah. Let me have it. Ah. Give me the picture. Ah. Let's go. What is it? What's the problem? Charles brought a package for you. So where is it? Your wife took it. What? I beg your pardon? Tony, you have to believe me. My Tony, believe me. I don't want to give it to her. But she practically snatched it from me and opened it. You fool! Do you know what you have done? 
Do you know what you have done? Are you trying to tell me you do not understand the importance of classified documents? Tony, I am sorry. Everything happened too fast. I don't want to give it her. She's not safe from me, Tony. Leave me. Tony, leave me. I swear to God, if this thing gets out of hand for the life of me, I will have your head on the platter. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? But I'm sure you can explain this. What is this? What is this? Can you explain it to me? Explain! You bastard! God. But you know what? You have no shame! You don't deserve my love. You don't deserve my trust. This is not what you think it is, okay? Lies! 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 You're a big liar, you know it. God. I have pictures. Pictures of you! Naked with another woman. You say it's not what I should think. What do you want from me, Helen? Tell me, what do you want from me? I didn't, have I not fulfilled the promise that I made to you as a husband? I give you everything you want. Cars, Shut clothes. Up! Shut up! You deserve to die! Rust in hell for the rest of your life! You miserable... God, I don't know how to qualify you! You know what? I'm so sick! Sick and tired of you! Me coming back home to this house and all you give me is anxiety and pressure! Really? You, you, you stupid pretend won't get you anywhere this time! What is happening there? It's like they are quarreling again. Could it be because of the... You are a bastard, you know it! You are a bastard and a fool! Don't touch me again. I will touch you! Don't. If I don't know, you do! Hey! Get off! Tony, what happened? She fell. How, how, how did she fall? I don't know. She, she just fell. She's dead. Jesus. What are you talking about? I said she just fell. What do you mean she's dead? Helen. Helen. Get her car. 
Haka? Yes, Haka. Richard, give me a hand. Huh? What is hand? I said, give me a hand. You're saying hand? Mr. Tony Okoye. I am. Do you know one Mrs. Helen Okoye? Yes, she's my wife. Well, I'm sorry I got bad news for you. What is that? Your wife is involved in an accident. An accident? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. The good Nigerian found her at the scene of the accident. I reported the incident in our office. Where is she? I mean, I mean how, how, how is she? I'm afraid she is dead. Oh, God. Mr. Okoye. I'm sorry. But we need you at our office to come and positively identify the body. I'm very sure this is the place. How much did the woman bring in? 1.5 million naira. Uh, see, Tony, I, I've been meaning to tell you this. I'm really very sorry about your wife's death. I'm really sorry. You know it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for your lousy mistake. Tony, I'm sorry about it. 
You were meant to bring the pictures to the office and hand it over to me personally. Sure. But you see, as I was coming, I had a flat tire on the way. And by the time I got to the office, we were already gone for the day. And so you decided to take it to my house, where my wife is. And now she's dead. Because of you. Tony, I'm sorry about it. Please, it won't happen again. But of course it won't. After all, we all make mistakes. But that's all right. You just remain here. I decline to bring the money, okay? Sure. See you later. I'll be gone. Yeah. was supposed to be here, but we haven't seen him yet. Charles. Charles is going to Europe. He wanted to handle some business for me. But when is he coming back? He's going to be gone a long time. As I plan to start up a foreign operations over there. T. Yeah. Now that Charles is gone, who's going to be taking care of the hotel operations? That's why I call this meeting. Now listen up guys. Collins, henceforth, you'll be in charge of the hotel's operations. Okay. Grace, you will maintain the salon and the beauty shop operations. Okay. Bill, you will assist James in the field operations. Now guys, all your information must be dead accurate. Otherwise, you all know that any slip from any part of the department, this entire organization will be going down. Yeah, um, T, how about the Mrs. Williams file? I mean, do we close it? We start all over again. And this time, I want videotapes. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Let's get to work. Collins. Yes, T. Let me have the Mrs. Williams file. Okay.
have you been? Damn, you look good. Thank you. Good. So, where have you been? I've been trying to reach you. I'm sorry, I had to like jet up to London. London? Yeah. And you couldn't tell me you were traveling. I'm so sorry, you see, it was an emergency and um, I had to rush off in a very short notice. Oh my God, you could have called me or at least sent a text message. Yeah, but I tried calling you when I came back. But your phone wasn't going through. And I would have come to your office, but I was afraid I was going to bump into your husband. You're right. I wouldn't want to run into that boring old man. But all I need you to do is to call me anytime, okay? I definitely will. Look Thank at you. you. You look good. See, I got your wine. I got something really nice yeah. for you. You know what I like. I know, I know Thank you. Thank you so much. I know you. <laughs> there you go. Toast. Yep. To us. Yep. Cheers. <laughs> so tell me, Good. what would you like? I got some refreshments right there, but um, would you rather we get down to the nitty gritty? Anyway, you want to start. Anyway, I want to start. Anyway. You know me. <laughs> Just spend a night with me. Spend it with me. My dear, I would have loved to. But my husband will be coming home. Huh? Yeah. Call him and tell him and let him know that you're spending a night at a friend's place. Huh. My dear, I am not a baby. There are certain lies I cannot tell. Can't you understand? Traveling to Abuja Friday. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come over? Abuja. Yeah, Abuja. Mm. What hotel? Um, my husband and sister stay in a family friend's place. Why not book a hotel and let me know? Mm. Thank you. Deal. Deal. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I love you. Okay. I love you too, baby. Damn, girl, you are so ah! Oh my god! Oh, oh your back is okay. just gonna wake up. Please, I need to do it. Help me, help me, help me. Oh, uh, Mama, you know, I don't know how you knock this thing. You know, I'm a contemporary man. I'm not very traditional in this. Yeah, just do it the way you can, okay? Okay, okay. I got it, I got it. Let me get ready. I need to leave. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. There you go. I need to go. Yeah, I need to go. So, I know you missed me. Yeah, I miss you too. It's alright. I'm going to leave you now. Bye bye. Let me go, okay? Sure. Yeah, take care of yourself. Thank you. You look good, don't you? What's up? 
comments. How are you doing? Did he click? Well, I played my part. Let's see the camera. <laughs> Send one to that woman and one to me. What's that you Make it, get it done this week. Right over there. Okay. Do not fail. Thanks. You take it easy. You okay? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just probably tired. I need some pain relievers, that's all. You see it easy, yeah? All right. <laughs> What are this? It has been supplied. And this? Okay, it has also been supplied, ma'am. Um, as a matter of fact, ma'am, all the goods we requested for have been supplied. The suppliers brought them in this morning. Okay. Um, have you issued them check? Yeah, the accountant has done that. Good. What of the B and B check? It's also with the accountant, ma. Okay. Tell the accountant to go and pay it in. Okay. Thank you. Take this. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, ma. There's a package here for you. From who? From one Mr. Bernard. Bernard? I don't think I know any Bernard. But it's addressed to you, madam. Okay, thank you so much.
Alright, it's only Alright. Yeah, the package has been successfully delivered. Great. Um, did you give the package to her personally? No, but she was in the office then. But her secretary signed for it. Ah, oh, great, great. Perfect. Good job, bro. Good job. Anytime. Alright, I'll catch you guys at the office later. Alright, okay? you take care. Hello? Hello? Tony? Tony, where have you been? I've been trying to reach you. What sort of rubbish is this? Huh? What is going on? What are you talking about? What do you mean what am I talking about? Huh? Oh, so this is how you want to pay me back? To destroy me, to blackmail me, after all the love I gave you? What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean what's that supposed to mean? I received this package with pictures of our secret affairs at the hotel. I just received a video package too. And that's why I've been trying to reach you. So, so, so what's happening? What's going on? Tony, please, we need to see. To meet who? To meet you? Again? Ah, oh, no, you know it's impossible. We need to see, please, before it gets out of hand, please. Drive, drive towards the city gate, okay? There's a hotel on the left side of the road. Meet me there in half an hour. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'll be there. I'll be there. Crazy over his sharp sweet lady like you. Hmm? Tell me. <laughs> well, my husband is so busy with his work and his hunt for contracts, he hardly notices a woman has such him. Then shake him up a little. Pin him down and make him spend quality time with you. Quality time? Mm. That's what you should do. Yeah, Thank you. The problem is getting my husband to stay at home. Now, whether he is using that as an excuse to mess around is what I don't know. And when I get to find out, I'll deal with it. Thank you very much. Anyway, you just take care, okay? You have just a lady. All right, bye. Hello? Hello, James? Yeah, hello. Yeah, the lady leaving this building right now is a potential target, okay? Follow her and make sure you find out where she stays. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay then, all right.
How much are they demanding? Three million naira. Where on earth am I supposed to get three million naira? Huh? I wonder how they got our picture and video of something. Hidden cameras. I wonder which one of the hotel staff must have done it. What do they want to achieve? Why must they hide a camera in their room? To blackmail their customer. Oh my God. Why? I swear to God, I will never step my feet on that hotel again. Never. Suppose we confront them. That is a very brilliant idea. My God, how come I didn't think of it? Let's confront them, right? Let's confront them so that they will send the tape to your husband and send the tape to my fiancé and my, and my, my, my fiancé's family and everybody will know and everything will be out in the open. Let's confront them indeed. You must be out of your mind. No, um, Tommy. Tommy, listen. Um, listen, um, I, I have two million naira at the moment. Now that's what I want to hear. I'll make up the rest one million now. Now how soon can you raise this money? Because I can hardly sleep or I can hardly eat. Okay, um... Let's meet tomorrow at Heritage Supermarket. 4 p.m. I'll get the money. Good, 4 p.m., right? Okay. I'll be there. See you. to get the negative and the master tape from whoever that is blackmailing us. Are you getting me? Shh. I understand. I get you perfectly. Okay. Now, the money is here. Do I give it to you? Sure, sure. May I have it? Everything is one million dead. You know, when this is all over, I'm going to get out of town for a little while because this heat is too much for me. I can't seem to take it. Will you call me? No, I can't call you until things calm down. We can't see each other right now so as to avoid a reoccurrence. Okay. No problems. Later. All right, then.
Some money, but it's not much. However, that's a sign of a good year ahead, right? Yeah. Good. So, guys, we gotta keep our ears to the ground. Now, tell us, Grace, what do you have for us? There's a new fish on the line. Her name is Sylvia Gilbert. That's what I like to hear. I've given the details to James. James? Yeah. Um, I told her I found out all I could about her. They're all in here. I I followed up on that and got details of where she works, the few friends she faces from time to time. I equally got information about who the husband is and the kind of business he does. So who's her husband? Well, he's an industrialist, always traveling here and there for business. You know, and as usual, never has time for... My God, no. <laughs> they have just one child. Perfect. That's a good place to start. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Two of you. And for both you, dear. Are just for women. Yes, the boutique along um, Gariki too. Okay, she's there? Yes. She's there. 
I just told her to that place now and she's inside. Alright, I'll be there. I'll be there right now. Okay, I'll wait. So I've never seen you before. Ah, uh, the beauty palace. That's it, the beauty palace. You usually go there to do your hair, right? Yes, but how did you know that? I know I know you. I just knew it. Yeah, I usually take my wife there to do her hair sometimes. And there was this particular day I was driving in with my wife and you were leaving. You were spotting this very fantastic, beautiful hairdo. I'm like, oh my God. I have to insist that my wife wear the same hairdo. <laughs> How nice to do my hair made quite an impression on you. Well, it sure did. And I'm sure it's all about the taste. What are you doing here? I should be asking you the same question. What are you doing in a women's boutique? <laughs> Forgive me. It's, uh, it's my wife's birthday, so um, I decided to come um, get her something really nice to spring her a surprise. Hmm. How sweet and caring of you. Thank you. By the way, my name is Tony. And I run a consulting firm. And oh. you? I'm Sylvia. I assist my husband in his production and marketing firm. Your husband? Yes. You don't look married. <laughs> That's the first I've heard of that one. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> ah. Sylvia, I'm sorry, I hope it wouldn't be much of a bother if I'd ask you to please help me pick in something really nice for my wife. Well, you know you should have brought your wife. Well, it's her birthday and it's meant to be a surprise. Oh, yes. I see. Well, what kind of things does she like then, as in colors and what's her size? Well, she wears a size 14 and she usually likes uh, black and red. Okay. Here, hold this for me, okay? Let's see. Hmm. Does she like soups? Oh, yeah. She's a corporate person, so. Yeah, that's Size 14, you say? Yep. We know size 14. This is a size 14. Red, you said? Yeah, yeah. This is another red one. It has the spoons and things. Okay. Wow, this... One more. Since you're in the mood to spend, one more. Oh, yes, I am. This one. Unfortunately, this is not my size, but I think maybe you should like this. That is so beautiful. That is, that is gorgeous. <laughs> that is fantastic. My God, I couldn't have done this. I wouldn't have come any close to this if I had tried myself. You got very, very good taste. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I have to rush now. I have to pick up my son from school. 
Nice meeting you again, sir. The pleasure is likewise. <laughs> and happy birthday to your wife. She will hear. Bye-bye. You have a nice day, man. Okay, how much? to you, madam, when she comes. Okay, bye-bye. Hang on a second, let me get the money from the car, okay? Okay. Sweetheart, have you taken your breakfast? Yes. Good. Excuse me. Ah, uh, Rita. Yes, love. I forgot to tell you, I will travel to China this weekend. Again? Well, you just got back from France. Yes. Um, there's this new contract you're handling. I don't, I don't want to hear about this your new contract again. No. Why? It, it, does it ever cross your mind? And one is very lonely in this house whenever you travel. Does it ever cross your mind? And you want to travel again? Richard, this is business. Do you understand? Oh, it's business. It's not fair. It's not fair. Mother. 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 Uh, how are you? Collins, what is it? Somebody brought this parcel for you. Parcel? Yes, sir. Who is the parcel? Uh, it's a dispatch from a courier company, sir. Let me have it. Send me a video uh, Probably you should send it back. Y you shouldn't have opened it in the first place. No. It might contain something important. Let me see. It has your name on it. My name? How come? There is nothing in it. Nothing? Let me take it forward. Okay. Send me a video tape with your name on it. I wouldn't know. In fact, I'm still wondering. Eh? I'm wondering. Okay. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry about that. I forgot. Um, I sent an empty video tape to Cordelia, my friend, to dub these uh, praise uh, worship songs. Probably uh, it didn't work out again. And um, she sent it back. I'm so sorry about that. So I sorry. I was wondering. Ah, Cordelia. Hmm? 
Look at. She didn't even indicate the sender's name uh, for me to know immediately. I'm so sorry, love. So sorry. Hey, Cordelia. Just a minute. never stops till I say so, Rita. Till Tony says so. <laughs> you heard? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see you. Living in harmony. Love is given. Love is receiving. Joy, peace, and fulfillment. Is my testimony. Money, yes. Money, yes. Money, wow. yes. But money's not everything. Calm down. What do you mean calm down? Tell me, what do you mean calm down? My marriage almost crashed. My life almost came to an end when my husband played the thing. Now tell me, Tony. You were supposed to add one million naira to the money. What happened? Tony, I said what happened? I do not have one million naira. Where on earth am I supposed to get one million naira from? Huh? I'm not as rich as your husband. What are you talking about? Exactly my point. I do not have the money. I don't have one million naira. I was supposed to sell my car and a couple of my valuable things, but I could not. And so when they called me up, I told them I don't have the money. They should give me some months. This is ridiculous. I thought you were joking on the phone. Well, I wasn't joking, and I'm sorry. Sorry. Listen, sorry we will not solve this problem. Now, tell me, what do we do? Tell me, Tony, what do we do? It still boils down to what I've been trying to say since. I don't have the money, Rita. I don't have this money. Things are a bit difficult for me right now. You don't have one million naira. You don't have one million naira. Here is one million naira. 
give it to them. End it. I don't want to hear anything about this again. Do you get me, Tony? Down. Tell me, what do you want? This is what I'm trying to explain to you. Look, there is this red light on your forehead. It shows your temperature is rising unnecessarily. You don't need that. Tony, back. please leave me alone. No. Leave me alone. Wait, wait. No, 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 what, no. Why, why? Some people are blackmailing us, so we should stop our, our love making. Uh, Tony, are you insane? Tell me, we already have a problem, and you're still talking about love. Ha! Listen to me. There are just two of us here. No one knows we're here. So what's the big deal? Tony, please leave me alone. I want to get... change anything. Don't you get it? Leave me up. No, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. There's something I want to tell you. Something that you really need to know. What is it? Get on the bed, I'll tell you. Oh, Tony, leave. Get on what? the bed. Oh, my God. Listen, I know you can't resist me. Tony, leave me. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. The supermarket of Danjima clothes. Yes, yes, this yes, she's there now. American supermarket of Danjima clothes. Yes. My God! 
I don't believe this. You look so damn gorgeous. What have you been doing? You've been working out? Oh, shucks. <laughs> Maybe you haven't seen me in a while. So. Oh, you still look good. You look really good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how did it go? How did what go? The surprise birthday party for your wife. How did it go? Oh, yeah. She wasn't there. She... She wasn't there? What do you mean she wasn't there? <sighs> After spending time with her sister and staying out late, she came back home and... dressed up and went out for a meeting. Didn't you tell her it was her birthday? I did. And um, she just said thank you and left. Oh dear. Hmm. Sounds like you two are having problems. She's never home. All she cares about is a career. And when I talk, people say I complain too much. Anyway, that's not your problem. I shouldn't bore you with it. Do you ever tell her you love her? All the time. Every time I tell her, she cares more about her career than our being together. Mm. Well, I guess some women are like that. I mean... You think so? Well, I, I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know what to do again. I, I just don't know. I, can you help me? Help you? What, you want me to force her home? something? <laughs> no. I was just hoping I can get some tips from you. Oh. Well. Time heals all wounds, okay? Yeah. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Okay? Thanks. Yeah. Well, uh, I've got to go. Huh? I just came to pick up some toiletries. Same here. <laughs> All right then. Um, we'll probably see some other time soon. Yeah? Okay. You too. Take care of yourself. Bye. See, I'm so tired. So tired, you don't even have time for me, your wife? You have no idea what I went through today. As I talk to you right now, I have no strength in me. Come on, please, leave this for some other time, darling, please. <laughs> Okay. 
can see. Don't even have time to take my bath. No stress. Good. <laughs> what are you doing here? Is your child in this school too? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have a child in that school. <laughs> my colleague stays down the road, so he's the one I came to see. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, my son goes to this school and I came to pick him up. Oh, that's good. That's really nice. How's your wife? Ah, oh, my wife. My wife. She traveled to London again yesterday. And she'll be gone for like two months. And she didn't even bother to discuss it with me. She didn't? How could she? Typical, don't you think? <laughs> My only problem now is to cook. I'm tired of eating out. You don't know how to cook? Well, if I did, I wouldn't have married her now, would I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, will it be asking for too much if I asked you to do me that favor? How do you mean? Well, is there a possibility that you could find it in your kind heart to help me prepare some very nice delicacy that will last me for like a week or two at my place? At your place? Imagining you were my wife. I'm already someone else's wife. Oh. That I am. That I am. He's a lucky man. Why do you say that? Because you're beautiful. You're elegant. Gorgeous. And you're fun to be with. If I had you in my house, I'll be home every afternoon just to see your face. To hear your voice. To feel the sweet warmth of your body.
that why you're washing up like a teenager? That's easy for you to say, you know. I mean, your wife is not around and you're in your own home. I have to get home to my husband. Mm. So, when do I see you again? I'll call you. I have your number. Oh, that's not fair. Supposing you don't call. I will call you. Okay. I want you to stay. Gotten somewhere else to make your hair? Of course not. Just that we're very busy, that's all. That's okay, all. okay. How is your family? Oh, they're yeah, fine, thank you. Okay, so what do you want to do? Oh, I want to take this mm -hmm. thing off and then um, refill my hair. That's all. Yes. Okay, okay. come sit down. Okay. Um, she wants to fix her hair and um, uh, her nails, but she's not going to have hair first, okay? Um, just give me a minute, okay? I'll be right back. Grace. Yeah, she just walked in now. She's alone, she's alone. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll be on the lookout. Or rather, I'll flash you when she's around here. Okay, then. Bye. Surprise! You promised you were going to call, but you didn't. I was expecting my husband to travel, but he didn't. Mm, I see. You know, I've missed you so much that each time I drive around, I keep an eye for you, hoping that someday I might bump into you. But I guess I'm not that lucky. It's not fair the way you abandoned me. Tell me, I didn't abandon you. You didn't? No. You know, 
since the last time, I can't stop thinking of you. You're always on my mind. How's your wife? Is she back yet? Unfortunately, yes. She came earlier than expected. Now I can't come to your house and you won't come to mine. So, how are we going to see? I know of a very nice hotel. Hotel? I mean, I, I can't be seen in a hotel with you now. Trust me, no one will see us. It's um, a very nice, quiet, secure, and very discreet place. All right, I'll call you. <laughs> Not that same old joke. <laughs> Let's do it the other way around this time. Why don't you give me your number and let me do the calling? Okay, here's my number. That's more like it. All right, let me have it. 080 yep. 344 yep. 544 uh -huh. 24. Great. Okay. There we go. Take care of yourself. Again. Well, you don't know all my friends now. You don't remember them. Anyway, uh, she wants me to um, come over and help her pack because she's traveling abroad. I'll be back in the evening. Oh. Uh, all right, so Junior, you're going to stay with Daddy, okay? Are you going right away? Of course. After I've gone upstairs to refresh myself up, I'll leave. The earlier I go, the earlier I'll return.
You know, sometimes I wish you just don't have to run off like this. I have to get home, remember? You know I have to get home. I know. You know, I so wish I had met you before I met my wife. Stop saying that. My, my husband is also never around, you know. Besides, we must keep our marriages out of this. Must. Let me ask you something. It's halfway across the world. I will come to you. That's nice. I got something for you. You do? Yeah, right now that really hurts. Sorry, honey, you okay? Yeah, Colin, sorry. Um, come over, she's gone. Yep. Yes, come in. Hello, T. Hey, Colin, what's up? And how did it go? That was okay. I trust you. Get a tape. I got a tape. This time, a demand for five million naira because the husband is worth it. You sure about that? Absolutely. If he says so, consider it done. 
great. But I want you to give it a week's gap before you send the tape. All right? I'll take care of it. Good job. I'll see you later. I'll see you. Yep. Yeah. Will you take it line on slow this time, okay? Get out. You don't have to hold your stuff. Call see you later. later. Let's get out. <laughs> Talking about me taking it slow. This is Tony, man. Tony don't take it slow. I live life high speed. Leave live on a high speed, baby, because I'm a smooth operator. Yeah! Smooth operator. Oh! Smooth operator. Smooth operator. That's me. Tony is the smooth operator. Coast to coast, from Lagos to Abuja. Not for sale. <laughs> I bet there's going to be someone else who's going to need this. man, how are you? I'm fine, good afternoon. Yes, how is your day? It's okay, can I help you? Yes, uh, I'm Inspector Larry from the State CID headquarters. Can I see Yoga, the owner of this building? My Yoga? Yes. Oh, my Yoga no deal. Really? If he is not in, uh, can we start with you? Later we can come and see him. Start with me? There's no problem. Ah, what can I do now? We just want to find one or two things. Before Yoga's wife's death, were there any argument, fight or quarrel? Hmm. Come here, I don't know. Hmm. I get my IP. I know. We just want you to feel free. There's no problem. Eh? We are just friends. Feel free to give us information that will help us in the course of this investigation. Oh, girl. When I want to investigate a woman where they don't bury. I know she's there but not buried. But uh, once again, let me find out if uh, there was a problem between your girl and the wife before she died. Huh. Officer, I don't tell you. Me, I demand my business for getting here. I know they want no waiting the Just like my partner have said. Was there any quarrel between your boss and the wife the day she died? That's just her, not from you. It be like saying, I don't understand me. Me, I know they want to know what thing they happen inside. So that I get here, they, I don't know anything. I beg, I'm going to try to understand. It's alright, it's alright. I man. beg. Please help us uh, tell your boss to meet us at the CID headquarters uh, once he comes back. Okay. If not that one, no problem. I'll go do that one for now. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, sir. I'm going to go well, eh? I told you he left the country. Why did you offer 
as an old schoolmate but I rehabilitated you when you were jobless. I took you out from the gutters, cleaned you up, gave you a job so you could earn a decent living. Not for you to interrogate me. Do you understand? I agree. But Tony, when I came to you for assistance, you said I could be your PA or your security man. But now, everything has gone messier. Tony, your wife died suspiciously. And now, Charles disappeared mysteriously. Richard, you are going way out of line. My wife has nothing to do with this. Tony, the police will not like to hear that. I don't want to get implicated, Tony. So, what do you want, Richard? You want out of the game? Yes. I want out. I want to get out before the police get at me. So be it. Go. Wherever you want to go. To start up a new life again. Maybe somewhere. You're blackmailing me? Oh, Tony is not blackmail. I promise you don't have anything to worry about. Tony. Nobody will ever hear from me that you killed your wife. Trust me. Very well then. Two million now, you said. Yes, two million now. Okay. I'll give it to you. Two million now. But you will have to wait till tomorrow morning so I can go to the bank to cash that kind of money. Because you know I can't have that kind of money in this house. That's okay by me. Tony, no hard feelings. You should understand. I'm just doing all these things to play safe.
Good afternoon, madam. Afternoon. I am from Highway Kubia Services. I have a package for Mrs. Sylvia Gilbert. Um, madam, please, could you just sign here for me? Sylvia, it's me. There's a problem. There's a very, very big problem and we need to meet urgently. Tony, problem? I'm the one with the problem. You have no idea what I'm holding in my hands right now. A videotape. A videotape? I was sent a videotape containing our rendezvous at the hotel. Listen, that's why, that's why we have to meet now. That's why we have to meet immediately, okay? Just drive to the Unity Garden. Uh, you'll see my car parked there. I'll be there waiting, okay? at the hotel. Look, 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 look. Listen, see. 
This tape was sent to me and my wife almost got it. But who would know enough about us to plant a camera in the room? Eh? I have no idea. I have no idea whatsoever. But I remember vividly telling one of the workers there specifically that I do not want my name in the list of guests. They must be the one blackmailing us now. Listen, we have to get them arrested now. Are you out of your mind? Listen to yourself, get them arrested? Do you know the repercussion of what you're saying? If you make such a move, the tape will get to your husband and my wife, and I can't have that. But they're demanding four million naira, and I don't have that kind of money. You don't need a But I have two million, and you gotta try and come up with your other half. Yes, and think about it, seriously. Think about the scandal. Think about the shame. I can't have that, Sylvia. I can't. Two million naira? It's gonna take me a while to raise that kind of money. Eh? Sylvia, we have to do this. This is urgent, and you know these people are not playing. Okay? You have to try and come up with your two million naira. I'm gonna give them my two million naira first, and I'll try and stop. But I can only stop for two, three days. In the meantime, you gotta try and come up with yours. Do you understand me? Two, three days? Yes. Now go. I will keep you informed. Go. It's a public place. Go. Gilbert, please come. Any problem? <laughs> uh, please sit down. You remember my friend, Ngozi? Ngozi. Well, I know you hardly ever know anything about me these days. But uh, my friend Ngozi uh, has a large consignment of imported list materials that she wants to dispose of. So? So I, I want to buy them so that I can, you know, I can resell them for a, a large profit margin. But I thought imported list materials are on the list of customs prohibited goods. Yes, but uh, she got them way before they were declared contraband. Now, Yes. So what is bottom line? Uh, I, I need some money. Like how much do you need? And two million naira only. Two million what? I know you don't expect me to give that kind of money. Perhaps you are kidding or so. Eh? Yes. You will not give me that kind of money. You will not give me that kind of money. Gilbert! <laughs> you are joking, no? You will give me that money. Gilbert, you will give me that money. Do you know why? Because you are hardly ever home. You hardly ever have time for us as a family. Even my emotional and, and physical needs are hardly ever met. Now that I say I want to invest in, in, in a profitable business, you say you will not give me money. But you will give me the money. You will give me the money. Ah. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, Sylvia. Can you sit down? Sit down. Sit down. When do you need the money? Now. Now? Yes. Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? I don't know. But I need the money. Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert. Okay. Yes, gentlemen, can I help you? Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, I'm Inspector Larry from the CID headquarters. And uh, I'm here with my colleague to see Mr. Tony, the owner of this office. 
Is he in? No, he traveled. Traveled? Yeah. Is this not his car? Oh, actually, he traveled without the car. Sure? Yeah. So why can't we come to see him? Well, if you really want to see him, you can come on Monday. In that case, if he comes back, please tell him that this is his last invitation to the police. When next will come, we'll seal off this office and get him arrested. But officer, I hope there's no problem. Please deliver our message. It is important. Thank you very much. Are they gone? Yeah, they're gone. They say you should report to the station immediately. Brother, I told them that you traveled. Good. That will keep them at bay. While I get some business done. Yeah, Sylvia, it's Tony. Meet me at Unity Park in 30 minutes. You take care of the premises. If there's any problem, give me a call. Please, take this money and give it to them. Make sure you collect the tape and destroy it. Okay? That's it? Yes. Great, great. So how did you get the money? I, I lied to my husband about a new business venture I was going to get involved in. That's how I got the money. Now, please, hurry, okay? No problem, no problem. Yeah. I'll keep you informed, okay? No, please, hurry. James, okay? okay. All right, guys. We need something big and steady. We're not moving fast enough. Um, I've got um, a new fish on the line who just got back from London. Her husband is a politician. A politician? Yeah. Now that's what I like to hear. Huh? A politician? <laughs> And as we very well know, most politicians have Swiss accounts, right? And we are going to empty that account. Yes, yes, yes. So? Um, right now, her marriage is under serious threat because her husband is hardly ever at home, hardly gives her any attention. Instead, he's busy playing with little girls. Tell us, how did you get all this information? Don't worry, we have our ways. Okay, for the benefit of this job, just let us know how did you get it. Well... She invited me over to her house to make her hair, okay. and um, we had woman to woman talk. See? Yeah. Splendid. Perfect. Perfect. So we have a randy politician and a sexually and emotionally starved wife on our hands. They'll do anything to protect their image. So this is what we're going to do. Collins? Yeah. Um, you get me everything you can on the man. Grace? Yeah. Stick to the woman. Okay. When did we start concentrating on men? I thought our targets are women only. You do not stand at a point and watch the masquerade, do you? You're right there. Grace, what's the 411?
Um, her name is Clara, and um, this is her address. All right, guys, come on, let's get to work. Hi. Hello. Looks like a tire is down. Beg your pardon? You have a flat tire. Oh my god, but it was okay when I parked. Yeah, but you never can tell with these tires, you know. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you have a spare, don't you? Yeah, I guess I do. Great. I can fix it in no time for you. Oh, that's incredible. And to think that I don't even know you. Oh. My name is Tony, a medical doctor with um, Grace Memorial Hospital. And I'm Claire Dominic. Nice to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. So let's get started. Yeah. All right. I 
your kind gesture. I didn't know we still have nice men like you around in this country. Well, that means that you don't get around very much now, huh? Well, the truth is I don't know how to make it up to you. Ah, well, that's uh, pretty very simple. Why don't you buy me lunch? I wouldn't mind. I do mind. I have a husband. Ah, uh, I have a wife too. Only she schools out of town. Really? Yeah. Well, let me give you my card. Oh. Ironic consult is firm. Perhaps one of these days you might be needing my services and I'll be more than glad to return this for you. Sure, I'll be looking forward to seeing you sometime soon again. Alright, then let's finish this, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good to go. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'll put that down soon. Okay. You said this man is a senator? Yes, and he is a big spender. Big spender, senator. His profession is none of our business. Yeah. All we are interested in is the pay. I mean, how big much? Big how big much is he going to give us our time? <laughs> <laughs> My question is, does he really want the three of us? You mean? Can the man handle the three of us? Uh -huh. <laughs> the three of us, though. Or even additional seven. <laughs> that is none of our business. Really? The thing is, how much? I mean, the pay. I'm evil pay, pay. How much you go pay? Because you would like to be well paid. Let me tell you something else. The issue is not how much the guy can pay. Mm. The issue is how much can you girls swing to make the guy go crazy? You just leave the swinging aspect for us. Uh, yeah. Because by the time we are through with this man, you say swing. Yeah. When you know we shake the thing where God give us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Money for this kind of uh, no money, oh. What's money they will go through um, anyhow we want to oh, work. Yeah. And they tell you. You see, I am convinced you girls are equal to the action. And for that reason. I'll give you a tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Just wait for I it. I just say you know the waiting with the wait for. Trust me, I know they shake. Bring them no, fast back. Yeah. 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 See, this is twenty thousand naira <laughs> each. This is money. It's not correct. And there's still more where this is coming from. Yeah. But <laughs> anyhow, we want some. Mm -hmm. We're on our three six. You know, what an hour we borrow. What an hour six. I hate you. I do. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Come in. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Franka. Some staff from the bank are here to see you. From the bank? Yes, sir. They say he's um, official and important. It's okay. Let them in. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, yes. sir. Uh, we don't intend to take much of your time. Okay. We are from Gold Trust Bank PLC. Gold Trust, Gold Trust, Gold Trust, Gold Trust. Oh, I know the bank, Gold Trust. Uh, so they met with the CBNM. Recapitalization deadline. Oh, yes, we did. I see. Gold Trust is a very strong bank. Oh, but I never knew they had such excellent staff like you. <laughs> <laughs> you Thank really you very much, sir. Wow, you really 
should be coming around more often. Mm, I think I should. Eh? I think I should. Yes. Ah, the girls are looking beautiful. Thanks for the yes. compliment. <laughs> um, actually, we are selling shares. Okay. And believe me, our shares are the most lucrative in the market at the moment. Oh, <laughs> and we are here to offer you a private placement in our bank. Oh, I see. Um, a lot of banks have actually come to me, and um, I have bought quite enough within the last six months. Oh, please, sir. Mm. You have to buy from us. You know, if you don't, and we don't reach our target, we'll be thrown out to the unemployment market. Please. Oh, She's oh, right, God. sir. Uh, now, who will want to do such thing to beautiful girls like you? Huh? Who will want to do that? Sir. Yes. We can please you in any form. If you patronize us. Really? Yeah. So we won't be kicked out. Yes. <laughs> you mean anything? Yes. Anything. Anything. At a service. Now, that's a brilliant offer anyone cannot refuse. <laughs> yes, and uh -uh. we assure you. You're not going to regret any minutes you spend in our company. Ah, not from what I am seeing. <laughs> not from what I'm seeing. Um, uh, okay, how about we lunch together? That's that would be great. That's that should great. be nice. Uh -huh. uh, but sir, due to the nature of our job, yes. we have a specific place we have a lunch. She's right, sir. Because we wouldn't want to run into our boss or any senior staff. You understand? Uh -huh. Thoughtful. Very thoughtful. Ah. All right. Um, you just tell me the place to meet you and um, go there and wait for me. I will join you in in a moment. Hmm? How about that? Okay, then. Yes. Um, mm. Golden Cross Guest Inn. That's the place. Aha. Aha. <laughs> Golden crust. <laughs> yes, um, okay. Yes, um, why don't you take this? Make reservation. Oh, thank, huh? you thank you very much. Order for anything of your choice and then enjoy yourself. Oh, thank you. I will be there. Oh, sir, thank you very much. It's been a nice time with you. Cynthia. Yes. This is Casey. Mm. And I am Jane. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Jane? Yes. Nice to meet you, sir. Cynthia. Nice to meet you, sir. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I have the pleasure. Feel free. Oh, um, man. Ah. And then. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, yes, um, I'll be there. Right, Definitely, I'll be there. Mm. All right, have a nice time. And you too, right? Eh? Bye. 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 Yes. Bye. all appointments this afternoon. Hmm? Okay, sir. I have a very important meeting uptown. Eh? Okay, sir. Yes, yes. Um, you may go. Yes. Thank you. 
smell like a million bucks. Yeah, Tony Toneri. That's my boy. <laughs> now let me talk to this woman. Why are you calling me to platinum? Because it's true. Don't you think you should be telling your wife all these sweet words? If my wife is half as seductive as you are, I swear to God, I wouldn't let her out of my sight unguarded. Mr. Tony, what exactly do you want from me? Nothing. All I want is you. Just you and only you. Well. I happen to be a married woman, in case you have forgotten. Yes, and a beautiful, gorgeous woman like yourself ought to be married. Well, that's very kind of you, but I must get off the phone now. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Don't, don't hang up on me yet, okay? I dreamt of you last night. <laughs> you dreamt of me last night? You must be joking. Ever since I laid my eyes on you, I think of nothing else but you. Did you actually dream of me last night for real? Yes, yes. And it was a very beautiful dream. We were both um, taking a shower under this spring with a lovely rainbow over our head. It's the most beautiful dream I've ever had. What do you want from me? Listen, why don't we meet? You and I. Let's sit there at Grand Central Hotel. You can't see me. I'm married for God's sake. It's a very quiet, comfortable place. And also very, very discreet. No one else will know. Just you and I. Some place. Outskirt of town. What gives you the impression that I'll come? Well, there's a chance I'd like to take. I mean, if you come, I'll thank heavens. If you don't, I can only just imagine what it would feel like if you had come, if only for five minutes. So what you say? Thank you. 
te. Who could have sent me a video to? I don't think who I am is important, but the reaction of your wife and your opponent over the video you just received is. You are the one that sent me that videotape. Who are you? Like I said, that is not important. I know you. I know you. You are the one that sent those girls to me. Huh? Now listen, idiots. I will hunt you down and I will crush you. <laughs> you are in no position to make threats. What do I even have to lose? Look, I am going to the police. I'm going to the police straight away. <laughs> Come on, Chief. Don't insult my intelligence by assuming that I am stupid. If this state gets into the hands of your political opponents, your party will throw you out. Who sent you to do this to me? Huh? What do you want? Ten million naira in cash. Ten what? Ten? Look, I don't have that kind of money. Chief, you're a politician. <laughs> you don't expect anybody to believe you don't have that kind of money. Now you listen, where do you want me to get such money? Huh? I don't know. But that's your problem. Okay, okay, okay. Now, how do I know you will hand over the master tape to me if I give you the money? I never said I would give you the master tape. I will never give it to you. It will be with me as an insurance to keep you at bay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But how do I know I can trust you? Let that be your problem. Hello? 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 Hello?
See you now. Then why would you send me a tape like this? You what? You you got the same tape too? Look, I have I have to see you right now, please. But I'm finished. But where can I meet you? Where? Tony, please. Where? It has to be now. Okay, okay. I'm coming right now. Okay. Bye. Same tape as well. Who made this tape and how did they do it? Listen, I've, I've heard stories of dubious, certain dubious hotel staff. They put camcorders in hotel rooms and then they record people's affairs. And then they use it to blackmail them there afterward. I never knew I was going to fall a victim. Oh my God, I'm finished. My husband is going to divorce me. And he should. Do you know what scandal this will cause? Look, stop this. For God's sake, they demanded for five million naira. Where am I going to raise that kind of money? They threatened, if we do not pay, that they are going to send the tape to your husband and to my wife. Now, I work for my wife's father. I can't let that happen. I owe them too much. Honestly, I don't know what to do right now, but we must do something. I think I can come up with two million naira. Are you suggesting we pay the money? Well, my dear, if you do not value your marriage, my marriage is far worth more than five million naira. Do you understand? Or what are you suggesting? That I take I take responsibility because I dragged you oh, to this? No, that's not what I mean. It's just that I don't know if I can raise that much. Well, you have to try. You really must try. You've got to do something. Please. Things are a bit very rough and tough for me right now. Please, you gotta help me out here. Even if it means me paying you back. You gotta help me out, please. I... I don't know what to do. Maybe you ask them to give us about a week. A week? No, I mean for me to have enough time to see what I can do, please. I don't know. I, 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 I just don't know. Well, well, I'll see what I can do. But you, you know with these people, you never can tell. However, you, you got to come up with something really fast. Please, you got to do something really, really fast, okay? I'll see what I can do. Just call me in a week's time, okay? Okay, I will. I'll get you informed, okay? Love is for always When it cuts both ways One heart, one soul Living in harmony Now! To the major thing. Let me get to the major man. Love is receiving <clears throat> joy, peace, and fulfillment. James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. <clears throat> Send a tape, huh? Send a tape to the to the to Chief Dominic. He thinks we're playing, right? <clears throat> Send it to his party chairman. Right away. Get on it. Silver and gold. Fred, so I hope all the executive committee members have been informed about today's meeting. Yes, sir. Please prepare, we'll soon be going there. All right, sir.
Je vais t'amener que ça, tu sais, ça. Le t'aimer. Ok, ça. The reason I called you here, Dom, is because we are friends. And I personally single handedly pushed you in as the governorship candidate. I know that, sir, and um, I won't let you down. And it cost me and the party a lot of money, time, and strength. I am aware of your massive contributions and sacrifices. Dom. I received a tape today with their name on it. A tape? Uh, oh, what kind of tape? A video tape. A note attached to it says, this will go to the press and somebody will be destroyed. Um, uh, did you view the video tape, sir? Yes, I did. But to my surprise, the tape is empty. Empty? What, what, what do you mean empty, sir? It is as if nothing was recorded on it. But I want to ask you, Dominic. I hope no one is blackmailing you. Hell no. I mean, who will want to blackmail me? Please, for the interest of the party, is anyone blackmailing you? Not that I... I... Oh, Chief. I remember now. Uh, my publicity team did a TV advert for me. And when they brought the tape, my wife uh, watched it and condemned it outrightly. So I asked the boy to send you the tape for your final judgment. And that is with my wife's um, comments attached on it. Is that what happened? Uh, yes. Um, yes, sir. That's what happened. And, uh, but, but the um, tape is empty. I hope you know. No campaign. Advert goes on air without the approval of the party. Yes, sir. I know that, sir. But not to worry, Chief. Um, I will send you another tip before the week runs out, sir. Please do. Yes, I will. I have to hurry. We have an executive meeting in an hour's time. That's okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Let the meeting now. I, I, I'll, I'll be home soon. Yes. Thank you. Chairman, isn't it? You scumbag. Why all the excitement? You should be thanking me that I sent an empty tape. Show some respect, Chief. How?
How dare you? Ten million in cash. Look, t ten million naira is too much. When are you supposed to get that kind of... Shut up and listen. Put the money in a cattle and drop it under the tree close to the fountain at the Millennium Arcade. Your deadline is Monday. Look, Monday is too close for me. Monday is too close. Let that be your worry. Monday, Millennium Arcade, or the tape goes round. This time, I assure you, it won't be empty. Hello? 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 both ways one heart one soul living in harmony love is given love is receiving hi how you doing yes. yeah. just do what you have to do to get this thing over with okay don't worry Consider it done. Okay? See ya. Money can't buy you. Money comes. Money comes. Money goes. Ooh. It's not everything. Everything. It can buy you silver and gold. Silver and gold. But money can't buy you life. This is a gold mine. And we have full control of it. That's right. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So guys, we must stick to our master plan. Okay. And I assure you that very soon, we are going to hit it big. Mm. <laughs> to success. Success! Success! There's a major one coming. Ten million bucks. Did you hear that? That's huge! Ten million bucks! <laughs> I love this game. And every one of you here is going to get 1.5 million each. That's a bank! Hey! Give me five million! <laughs> and that's not all. Yeah. That's not all. We're going back to our former clients and we're going to hit them again. Isn't that too early to hit them? The sooner the better, Collins. And we're going to start with Sylvia. Now, James, you are going to send her a demand notice for 1 million bucks. <laughs> Have that in mind, demand notice. I love that word. Consider it though. Consider it though. Great, great, bro. Great. Grace, yeah. please, I want you to provide some more of those sexually and emotionally starved women like Clara. And also those old randy men like her husband too. They seem to pay better. Yes, I agree with you certainly. Um, that's not much of a problem. I'll expand my network. That's my baby. Give us the five. <laughs>
Tell me, why can't my brothers come and stay with me in this house? Richard, that is your business. My decision is final. Williams! Money. What is it? From who? Delivery man. I've made a video to you can never need. Mr. What is going on here? What is going on here? Now, whatever is going on here, please tell your friends to stop sending this to my house. So I only give them here the money you gave me. Are you out of your mind? Tony, I said, are you out of your mind? What nonsense is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I had problems trying to like sell off my property. But you told me you had the money down. You told me you had the money down. I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, just in a difficult position right now. Things are a bit rough for me. Go ahead and sell the property. Go ahead and sell it. Don't you know what is at stake? See, that's where the problem lies. Because my kinsmen, they, they refuse to um, hand over the documents to the property to me. Listen, Tony, you must be insane. You must be insane. What nasty, what kind of nasty excuse is that? So, you want to read my, my marriage? No, no. No, no. Not exactly. It's... Listen. It's really, really bad, and I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Forgive me. I need your help. I, you need to help me out. I should help you. Oh, my God. How did I get into this mess in the first place? How did I? Rita, please, I beg you, forgive me. If there's anything you can do to help me out, I'll really appreciate it. And I promise you, I will pay you back. Okay, um, I'll try and raise the money. I'll try and raise the money. But be rest assured, you will pay me back. I promise. I will pay you back. Yeah, I will pay you back. In kind.
god! Yes! Oh my yes. god! This is money. Can you guys see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? This is TEN! Check. I give my wife just irregular signature on it. No, I can't remember giving her any check. Huh? What was this? Oh my God. But I just said I didn't give anybody, not even my wife, any two million naira check. Is she there now with you? Okay, okay. I, I'm coming over at once. I'll be there with you, Kevin. All right. you made me go through. You were never home. And when you're home, it's either you don't have time or you don't have the strength. Am I a piece of furniture in your house? I'm human. I'm a woman. I have feelings. For God's sake, I have feelings. Save that explanation for your family and your kindred. Rita, I don't care who the tape goes to. We are going to the police. And we don't do this. I said we are going to Invitations. At last, we have caught up with you. What sort of rubbish is this? You are under arrest and will remain in our custody until we have finished all investigation concerning your wife's death. My wife's death? What are you people investigating about my wife's death? When we get to the station, you'll find out. You hands in the air. You mean to tell me that this is the second time the tape is being sent? Your wife has paid out two million naira. And you have no idea who the blackmailer is? 
Honestly, ACP, I have no idea. Who sent the tapes? I don't know. It was my great man who brought the tapes on both occasions. Madam, have you contacted the blackmailers? I can't wait, sir. Uh, Corporal. Sir. Uh, take them. Let them make their statement. I bring them back here. Yes, there's something we are going to do. Okay. Very mm. speedy. Thank you very yeah. much for yeah. your yeah. yeah. welcome. What do you mean I can't go home? I mean, I have a right to bail. But well, we gave you two invitations, yet you failed to show up. Why were you running? Tony running? Me run? Why would I run? I'm a busy man. I got, I got business to take care of. On the contrary, we have every reason to believe you are wrong. Because our investigation into your wife's death showed that you what are... What are you investigating about my wife's death? I mean, my wife died in a motor accident. Stephanie, period. What are you investigating? That is a blatant plan. Yes, because the pathologist's report shows that the injury your wife sustained could not have been from the accident. Which we believe was faked. This is nonsense. This is arrant nonsense. I said my wife died in a motor accident. Period. What do you people think? What? What? Can I kill her? Okay. That's who find out. Can I answer my call? Grab it. Thank you. Yes, hello. It's me, Rita. Um, Tony, about the two million naira, I am not sending it again. Why? What happened? You are trying to defraud me of two million naira. Listen, I don't think those blackmailers are still having the tape. You know, this is not the right place to discuss this. Uh, but anyway, why, why would you think such? You lied to me, Tony. Now, if they know they are still having the tape, let them send a tape that is not blank. If not, no payment. Mm. Okay, well, um, I don't know, I don't know, but I'll relay your message. Better. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yes, as I was saying, officer, please, um, do you mind? I would really like to make a very, very important call. This is quite crucial. I mean, one of my very big clients had problems with some of my boys in the office. Okay. Well, that's one minute for you. Call back, sir. Be with you, please, sir. to repeat the assignment to our client number two and this time make sure that there is content on the item for proof is that understood good do it immediately Okay, we'll meet you there now. Yes. Okay. 
Anthony has just been arrested. That can't be. I mean, he called me a few hours ago and he asked me to deliver Miss, uh, a package to Mrs. Williams, and I just did. Yes, he called it from the police station. He equally called us and said we should arrange a lawyer for him. So which lawyer have you called? I just need to speak to Vice Senator. Let's just go to the lawyer. He's waiting. Okay, we have no time, guys. Let's just go. I think we have to do that. for suspected murder? How is that, sir? Take a look. This is Tony Okoye, sir. More than the same person. This is totally incredible, sir. It's the same person. This is Tony Okoye. what blackmailing gang you're talking about and I want to see my lawyer. Really? Yes, 
Control yourself, madam. Control yourself, madam. This is a police station. Control yourself. Love is 
Afro Bravo 